everybody. Welcome to today's episode of Downstream Outdoors. Today on Downstream Outdoors, we're going to start off with our featured product of the week. Our featured product of the week is our Beach Corner brand of lip balms. Available in four wonderful flavors, vanilla, tangerine, lemongrass, and original. No artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives in any of our products ever at any time. These are available at places like Little Rock's Natural Remedies along Route 36 in Roaring Springs, Pennsylvania, and at Saxton Outdoor Supply along Route 26 in Saxton, Pennsylvania. This week on Downstream Outdoors, Bill Weaver's back. Bill's back to help us get our traps set up for trapping season. Take it away, Bill. Welcome to Downstream Outdoors. And I, as I said before, I'm back again. Today I'm going to tell you about how to set your traps up before you even start waxing and boiling your traps. You want to check them out, make sure everything's good from the last season. Check your pan tension. Check to make sure your pan lays flat, your chains are good, your swivels are good, and all that. So to get started with doing that, what you do, you're going to want to do is set your traps. Make sure the pan's laying flat into your jaws. As you can see, this one here is kind of tipped up. So what we're going to do is I have this nice little fancy tool here that hooks right in behind the dog of the trap. And you'll just push up until that pan lays nice and flat into the trap. Like so. You don't have to have that fancy tool. You can also use, just use a pair of Lyman pliers or regular pliers to bend that nice and flat. You can also check your pan tension. Some guys just do it by thumb and snap the trap off and they know about two to three pounds of pressure. Some people also have a nice uh, tool that's marked off in increments of one pound. They don't recommend that you snap this in the jaw. You can, but they don't recommend it. So you fold your loose jaw up and just push down. So that one's a little bit over pressure than what you want. That's probably about five to six pounds of pressure. I like to run mine at three pounds. So to change your pan tension, you just loosen the screw on the back of the pan, which is right here, you can loosen that up, change your pan tension, you'd loosen this screw and nut right here at the back of the pan, I'll see if I can do this with my Leatherman, which I cannot do. But you loosen that and that'll loosen the pan up and then you can tighten it and loosen it as you snap it to see what the pressure is. So once you've got your pan nice and flat, make sure your dog isn't bent up and everything. You want to check your chain depending on how long, your, how long of a chain you want to run. I run three swivels in my chain. One at the trap itself, one in the middle of the chain, and one at the bottom of the chain. And as I said in other videos, this keeps the animal from twisting up and getting bound in grass and stuff like that. So then you also decide on what kind of staking system you want. 
put on your chain. Either you can put just a swivel at the bottom like this to hook a, uh, a cable stake or a chain stake to, or you could also use your double stakes and hook that on. One of the most invaluable tools that you could have on the trap line, this is a little bit more of a advanced one, but is a pair of J-hook and S-hook pliers. These are so you could take your J hooks and your S hooks off. I always have two or three pair of these with me on the line because if you lay one down and you forget it, you always have another one. But you could take that off and I can put the next staking system or a new swivel on just that quick. And there you're ready to roll with your next whether you're going to double stake or cable stake, like I said, you can replace your swivels and everything else too if they get bent or crushed. Next thing you want to check is your trap tag. You want to make sure it's still legible and everything. Each person in Pennsylvania is to have a tag with their name and address on it or an identifying number that the game commission gives you. So what I do is I put that on and I just give it a little bit of a wrap around the chain. And that just prevents raccoons, especially from bending that up and chewing that up because it's nice and shiny. When you set up your traps, a lot of times, whenever I buy them brand new, I set them up right out of the box. I'll clean all the grease and oil off of them. I'll put the night latch in them. I've talked about night latches in other videos. It's just a small notch that goes at the back of the pan that when the dog is set onto it, it goes off a hair trigger. Then I'll do that, and then I'll set my chain up and everything else. But, as I said, at the end of the season, or um, before the season starts, you want to go through and check all your traps and make sure all that's been done, and you're ready to roll for the season. Hopefully everybody has a good season this year. If you're going out, and tight chains.